Hi folks, we need to make this part to four by six by three quarter inch thing and it is potentially the coolest thing we've ever made if it works. It's a mystery part. Uh, it's part of, there's a few more things to it. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. I'm curious if anybody has any guesses on it though. So let's go grab some material. Actually, there's a bar right there, I believe. We have a lot of four inch stuff. So perfect four inches and that's inch, which will let me hold it up and then we'll deck off the back side. Here is the cam file. Pretty normal setup, but folks, you need to be using templates. They are amazing. The way to use templates, though, is you need to create a template file. We've got this one. It's a silly widget. There's nothing to the part, but it's just something that lets me apply all of the operations that I usually use because you're always tweaking templates, whether you find a new tool or a new recipe or a different work holding. And this one file, right now I've actually only got um, Tormach 2.5D aluminum in the Haas. After I tweak one of these or make a little change, by having this template file, it lets me come in here, store as a template, and then when I have to do a part like this, all I do is right click, create from template, you know, and choose the, let me pick it here, you know, choose one of my templates, and it gets you pretty darn close to your final cam. Love it, love it, love it. Let's look at what's wrong with this, though. Let's figure out what I need to fix. So simulate. We'll deck it off with the Superfly. Speed this up a little. Okay, whole bunch of Shearhagen. And the little 316s to clean up these slots. Anybody guess what those are for? Um, it's contouring them out. Uh, okay, so we left some stock on the floor after the shear hog because it doesn't, or the super, yeah, shear hog because it doesn't uh, leave a perfect floor finish. So a half inch end mill just to clean that up. Um, same thing inside of there. Then a one quarter inch end mill to clean up the other geometry. Again, we left some after the adaptive. Oh, there's a problem. That was just supposed to be a spot. Uh, this is a great example of where cam simulation, it's like the one time it can really bite you. If, if you look, you kind of don't see a problem. The discoloration there of the gray may tip it off, but look, if I turn my part off, you can see what's supposed to be a spot is actually poking all the way through change my heights, hole bottom, or sorry, bottom height is going to actually be the top of the hole, but just with like a 40 thou offset. And I also love the section view analysis or wireframe because it lets me come real quick and see that looks better. Simulate, jump down to here. There we go. And drilling. And then it should be just some chamfers. We're going to do the intentional chamfer that we've modeled here. Uh, we're doing that as a 2D contour with two stepovers, uh, which I like, but the rest are not modeled in CAD. So we're using the 2D chamfer function in Fusion 360 CAM, which is phenomenal, to go ahead and put those just real light edge break chamfers. And again, you can't even see them so much because of the CAD model, but if I turn it off, you can see where they are.
All right, we got two problems we got to go fix. Uh, when we did the horizontal, see the little corner scallops? And then I goofed on my facing, which I thought was fixed in the template. The facing problem, edit the fourth tab passes. I should have had stock offset. I thought I had that in the template, uh, 0.25. So if you let that hover, what this does is it drives your toolpath over the edge of your part. Not in not necessary if you have a perfect diameter face mill, but the superflies are adjustable on their diameter. So I've got it a little off there. That fixes that. On the horizontal, did that show up in the simulation? Yeah, that's annoying. It doesn't show up in the sim. Um, let's go back here and hit play. Uh, or here, hit play on, the, on this, turn off, let's say flute only. See, it would be right here. No? I don't know, why am I? Well, clearly it's not, uh, it is leaving them. I got the right tool. Half inch bull, oh, is that why? That is why, because this tool has a slight radius, bull nose radius, duh. So let's just reduce the step over to say 0.3. That should give me tighter, um, tighter passes, which should get rid of that. There we go. And the facing off took off the backside. When you're doing that finish cleanup pass along a shoulder like this, keep your tool one thousandth of an inch off that bottom face. It'll avoid that tool mark you sometimes see on the bottom face. We did a test fit off camera because it's a mystery part and I needed to get rid of some material right up there. That's the beauty of Fusion 360 integrated CAD cam. Super quick to make that change. All right, last clue I'll give you. That pocket, rare earth magnet. What do you think it is, folks? Thanks for watching. Take care. See you soon. Yeah.